So. <laughs> Tonight on Red Eye. Coming up on Red Eye, how far will Shia LaBeouf go to not have to act in any more movies? We report you watch him run and hide. Plus, how much does the vice president expect to spend on macaroni and cheese between now and 2016? Three point six trillion dollars. And I make no apology for that. And finally, does the belief that crop circles are created by space aliens make you stupid, really stupid, or really, really stupid? Our expert panel settles it once and for all next. None of these stories on Red Eye tonight. And now, let's welcome our guests. Well, her voice is raspier than Rod Stewart and Kim Carnes in a blender after smoking three packs of candles. <laughs> tonight, I'm here with National Review reporter Catherine Tipp. Her first day on the job is tomorrow. Congrats. Wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> She gets down to brass tacks and also bottoms of bottles because she's a drunk. It's Joanne Osachinsky. Well, his face lights up less often than the dark side of the moon. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's TV's Andy Levy. And they say don't be a stranger, which is why the law requires him to go door to door in his very own neighborhood. <laughs> Sitting right next to me, I'm in the morning executive producer and my pal from O'Reilly, Bernie <laughs> McGurk. Good. Abe Law. The lead. That's the first story. What say you, McGurk? <laughs> well, uh, if you let me talk. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we better start. Come on. Yeah. Before I get in trouble. They dropped the bomb on a mom. A Florida woman was arrested on Sunday for allowing her seven year old son to walk to the park by himself. Dominic Ganey, seen here, I believe, was on the way to the park when he passed a public pool where lifeguards asked him where his mom was. Mm, he got scared and ran the rest of the way to the park, leading them to call the cops who found him and asked him where he lived. Shorts are clearly too long. The cops then took him home and arrested his mother, Nicole, on charges of child neglect. Nicole says she knew she was making a mistake by letting Dominic go to the park. I honestly didn't think I was doing anything wrong. I was letting them go play. Oh, well. And she <laughs> says she totally gets why the cops arrested her. I'm totally dumbfounded by this whole situation. Ah, oh, who wrote this? Clearly, <laughs> this is something that could only happen in... As always, to help us out in this discussion, we brought in a studio audience panel. Welcome, everyone, and thanks for being here. Before we start, how many of you enjoyed my special homemade fudge before the show? <laughs> oh, that's great. We may need some more EMTs for that lot. All right, Bernie. Yes, sir. Uh, was the mom wrong? And even if she was wrong, arrest her or execute her? Well, you know, I don't know what, what, what is happening to this country. We're raising a nation of P-words. You can't send a kid to uh, the park. I yeah. mean, they're going to treat this lady like she's Casey Anthony, for God's sake. Yeah. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. It, 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 look, if it was a girl, I could understand it. But if it was a little boy, you got to let him out there. And uh, I'm just kidding, ladies. Just a joke. <laughs> you know, I, I completely agree with you. <laughs> let him out. Let him out in the world. Come on. Seven years old. I, I was sneaking on the subway. I was, you know. Things at seven. I was, operating, I was operating a forklift on the moon. I don't think go. these cops went far enough. No. I think that in order to be outside, all children under the age of 26 should have an armed bodyguard with them at all times. It's just too dangerous. Where, though? It, why is anywhere, it dangerous? Anywhere. Anywhere. It's very, very dangerous. Right. I would, it, as soon as I have kids someday, yeah. I'm just going to hand them off to the cops right away. It's <laughs> good. Just because you know that they know what's better for kids <laughs> and their parents. That's so, so true. You know, I think that's a smart move. Joe, uh, we know you'll never have kids. Uh, because it'll just cut into your drinking time. What is happening to this world when a seven-year-old cannot walk outside by themselves? It is like, you're going to use the P word, I say, and it should be a book title, A Nation of Narcs. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. The problem isn't the child walking alone. The problem is that whole see something, say something, right. you know, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yes, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We yep, understand. Yep, yep. Campaign. Campaign. Yeah. They, the yeah. posters uh -huh. that they have. No, really, because everyone's looking. I just don't look. Yeah. I think, <laughs> yeah. no, really, I try to avoid eye contact with people. I, I, I think, you know, especially in New York, if I had a car, yes. I wouldn't have to walk to work and I wouldn't have to, like, run into people yes. or, like, see horrible things happening. Yeah. So Did, I avoid them. And, often, and oftentimes in New York, the horrible things are on the ground. 
That's oh, yeah. uh, when you're walking, you just it, it look like walking in New York straight ahead is an amazing experience. But once you look down, things are really bad well, down there. Well, you have there. so much <laughs> on your shoes. Yes, it's disgusting. And when you and when that time comes when you when you're walking and you slip. And you slipped not because you lost your balance, but because something soft and gooey caused it. Andy, should I move on? A mom got arrested, Greg. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is I'm what sorry. you were talking yeah. about. I, okay. Uh, your mother, of course, encouraged you to solicit rides for men in vans. Yes. So you are intimately aware of the, uh, the challenges of raising yeah. a child that was unloved. Um, Why not? I, don't even... I got to see a lot of America as a, as a youth, Greg. Yeah, it, was a, it was a, a formative experience yes. for me. America was his name. What? Yes. <laughs> he was a Native American yes, loner. Absolutely. Three Ks. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, this, we are becoming, as I like to say, a nation of narcs. Yes. And this garbage has to stop. I think the lifeguards should be arrested. Yes. They're taking their title a little too seriously. They're mm -hmm. lifeguards for when people are in the water. Right. Outside of the water, not... Not guarding lives at yes. that point. You're just you're just a a, a narc. Yes. Um, and it's more like no lifeguards. I can't believe they get a lifeguards. They let her go, and now her child is free to enjoy the outdoors by himself with all the hazards. Yeah. I really think we need to get some taxpayer dollars through Obamacare to get every child a bodyguard, so this doesn't happen ever again. Well, I don't know if that's possible. What I will say is that strangers continue to get a bad name. Well, you've got guys like Andy uh, lurking around these parks. I mean, that's part of the problem. No, 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 well, no, no, no. With the cops, they're, they're telling the mom that there's they're, pedophiles in the yeah. park. There's yes. all these pedophiles. It's so, it's so dangerous. Then why aren't you in the park yeah, patrolling the park? Yes, exactly. Why are you chasing the kids yeah. when you got the kid chasers on the prowl? But, but you know, the thing is, this, I think we have gone a little stranger crazy. You know that? I think we have. It's all well, Law and Order's fault. It yeah. is Law and Order. Yeah. Everybody, well, no, Law and Order. Maybe that's why I'm so scared. Yeah. I watched that for hours and hours <laughs> yeah, yeah. and hours. Yeah. All and young hours. women have been affected by the Law and Order marathon. Maybe yeah. smarter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm because very aware. You realize, though, that all the criminals are wealthy stockbrokers. Yeah. Well, usually white. <laughs> or never, art dealers. They're never the person you think they are. Exactly. They always kidnap me. The yeah. first guy, then they talk to another guy. Right, it's exactly. always actually the first guy. guy. The whole time. It's the first guy they talk to, and it's always Chad Lowe. <laughs> it's never Rob Lowe because it's, it's, you know, he's successful. But Chad's not. So Chad's always the first guy they talk to. And it turns out he's crazy. And then he tries to commit suicide, but they don't get him. And at the end, the yeah. music swells up. And then they have the commercial. And then the next one starts. And, dun, dun. Oh, and then you're in the you next Law and Order episode. Thing, you know it's 17 hours later. <laughs> exactly. And you've you know, soiled yourself. Yep. Or at least I have. <laughs> Let's not talk about that problem. <laughs> the bros came to blows. It's day 3.4 of Justin Bieber and something called Orlando Bloom nearly came to fisticuffs that sounds sexy at a Spanish bar on Wednesday I stress nearly because they're wimps the beef between Biebs and Bloom started in 2012, and Bieber was rumored to have defiled Bloom's then current and now ex-wife Miranda Miranda who cares and it ramped up when the two saw each other at a bar in Ibiza. Some might say Ibiza, but it is Ibiza. According to Page Six, Bloom refused to shake the Canadian carbuncle's hand as he walked past his table, and the Beebs responded to the snub with a comment about care. And that's when it all went down. I believe we have footage of the altercation. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I think Bloom was on the left. Anyway, let's see the real fight, if it was. <laughs> Still wearing embroidered shirts at clubs. Anyway, some witnesses claim Bloom's punch missed, others say it landed, but they all agree it would have been cool to see both of them get hit by a large truck. Anyway, Bernie, what do you make of this? Whose side do you take in this conflict? Well, first of all, uh, having sex with Justin Bieber, I don't think that counts really as having sex. For <laughs> Justin Bieber, it would be like, uh, you know, putting on one of Shaquille O'Neal's sneakers, I think. He's a perpetual man boy. So I, I, I don't know what, what Bloom is all upset about, but uh, he, I wish he had connected and knocked uh, the kid who pees uh, in janitor's buckets and eggs his neighbor's ha homes. I, I wish that he had connected 
and as you said, knock the kid out. The world would have been a better place. All right, I'm going to go to you, Joanne, because uh, we were talking about this earlier, and, and, and Bernie hits on it. Uh, it. The real question is sleeping with Justin Bieber. Oh, I do not understand why anyone would want to, to bed Bieber. Mm -hmm. Just because, like you said, I just still see him as like a boy, but now he's a man boy who just forgets his shirt. Yes. If you forget <laughs> your shirt, you're going to be forgetful doing other things. That's do, true. Doing the deed and, you know, <laughs> then there's a whole bunch of issues. But also, too, why, Bloom, why would you want to hit Bieber? That's like that's like punching a feisty chihuahua. Yeah. It's like, what's the point? He, there's yeah. a 17-year yeah. difference. It's yeah, like it, but, it's like a 20-year-old punching a 3-year-old, Catherine. But that's how you know that Justin Bieber is terrible because everyone was cheering when this much older guy is beating him. Yes, so that's, that's true. So that's how you know. You but, it, but it's also, you also know he did sleep with Miranda Kerr. <laughs> Okay, well, yes, because definitely, because definitely. why would a 37 year old hit a 20 year old? Got yeah, he's man. yeah he's uh, yeah. and by the way he I'm I'm fairly I'm, I know my gossip I'm almost 100 percent certain that they uh, did have sex and everybody knows about it. Uh, Andy uh, yeah. Bieber got baptized uh, earlier I believe we did that story we did we, we did, did. Uh, it didn't take did it? Well I, I'll go you one step further. Or Orlando Bloom is the worst Buddhist ever. Is he Buddhist? He's a Buddhist. What are you doing throwing punches? Mm. Buddhists don't throw punches. That's true. Yeah, that, that's bad news. He was trying to bless him. I will say, though, <laughs> I, I, I think it's pretty obvious. I think Bloom must watch Red Eye because I have been, every time we do these stories, I say Justin Bieber needs to get it, the, yes. the, the right. prop kicked out of him. Tough love. Yeah. Yes. And, and I think there is proof that Bieber slept with, uh, with Bloom's wife because uh, Bloom's wife, a few days later, had, <sighs> had Bieber fever, as they, as they call <laughs> yes. it. That's, a, that's basically a cold sore. Yeah, so uh, very uh, I think that's really all the proof you need. Yeah. You know what, though? This is like the Ollie Frazier fight. If Ollie were a Twinkie and Frazier was a used pair of underpants. <laughs> the other thing, too, you know, when you talk about this, uh, uh, Joanna, uh, about, about <laughs> real men and, and, like, that's not a real man. But I made a list, okay? Women, young women prefer softer, more feminine dudes. They love the Johnny De Depp's. They like the hairless, smooth thing. Like, I mean, so I made this list because I grew up in the 70s, and you'll remember this. David Cassidy, Bobby Sherman, Leif Garrett, Sean Cassidy, the Bay City Rollers, Robbie Benson. Remember Robbie Benson? Sure. Remember Michael Gray, who played Shazam? Or Lance Kerwin, James and 15, Donny right. Osmond? How about the band Patton Brothers? These were all boyish young men. Right, it wouldn't be much of a fight. It would be, it would be like uh, Bob Beckel fighting Lou Dobbs. It just wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't be much of a contest. Aww. They should arrest Bieber's mother for letting him out uh, in society if the Florida cops can yeah. get some jurisdiction up in Canada. I'm for right? that. I don't know. I think his mother's a lovely person. <laughs> I don't know her, but I'm <laughs> certain she is. Uh -huh. she well, is. she was just, you know, she raised, she had, she had a tough life. You trying to get some of that Bieber money? Yeah, you know it. You know it. I, want him on, uh, yeah. I want him on the five. Mom's <laughs> five. Yeah, mom's quite good. Mom's father, father's a strange man. All right. He put them in a rush to flush. I speak of an Australian flight attendant, the best kind, in my opinion, who warned passengers returning home from a music festival to ditch their drugs prior to landing. The reason? Sniffer dogs were waiting for them at the Sydney airport. Said the Jetstar Airlines crew member, quote, we've been told there are sniffer dogs and quarantine officers waiting in the domestic terminal. If you need to dispose of anything you shouldn't have, we suggest you flush it now. <laughs> that apparently prompted a rush to the bathrooms and later won some gratitude on social media. Not sure what that means. Wrote one passenger on Jetstar's Facebook page, quote, what a good Samaritan. This guy deserves a promotion. Meanwhile, an airline spokesperson said the flight attendant's words were poorly chosen and apologized for the incident. He's since been sent home for some self-reflection. Oh, well, anyway. So, Catherine, um, this guy broke the law. Uh, and he kind of screwed the police. Uh, should he have done that? Absolutely. Yes. You should always, always screw the police whenever you can. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. This sounds like a party plane. People yeah. were rushing to the bathroom because so many people had drugs. Did you hear that one guy on there? He talked to the media. There's a quote in the story saying, 
why would you tip people off if they've got something illegal, then they should get in trouble. It's like, he was invited because he did not belong on the party plane. <laughs> yes. Everyone on the party plane was much cooler than he was. So this, this man deserves an award. He's, a, he's, a, he's an Australian hero. Bernie might even be an American one, for all I know. Listen, this guy deserves free uh, f Foster's beer for the rest of his life. <laughs> this, uh, Is that this a punishment? <laughs> I think, yeah, no, no, actually, it could be. But look, I think the airline should apologize that the co-pilot was online to flush his drugs. <laughs> that's, that's where they really should apologize. But no, kudos to this guy. Shame on the cops. The people are having a good time. They're coming back from a concert. Take it easy. What yeah. happened to all the drugs? Do yeah, know? see, I have a Did theory. Did take them? I have a theory oh, that the... Well, that, I have a theory. Well, Andy, then yeah. you go... I'm the host. You're the theorist. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Oh, there were no sniffer dogs in the air. No, there weren't. Of course yes. not. No. Of course the not. The flight attendant had the toilet hooked up, so it emptied into a bucket oh, yes. that he yeah. then had access to. This is all his way of getting that. free drugs. He wasn't. He's he had, a party, he had a funnel up to right. his butt. Right. So everything was going right into his butt. Oh. <laughs> and then he was going to walk out of the airport with it. Well, see, that's, that's, my theory was made that sense, and then you made it absurd. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I was just thinking, I was thinking the same thing I wrote. Uh, he would, he... He, uh, he, uh, he would later fish through the septic system for drugs. That's what I thought he was doing. But I don't know. Joanne, the, the airline didn't say if they're punishing him, should they? They shouldn't. No. Because he didn't say what you should flush. Right. He could have meant a good BM. Make sure you go <laughs> get rid of what you don't need. Don't bring that home with you, they, my mom exactly. always said. Exactly. <laughs> because, you know, true. that's uncomfortable. Um, but he, so they said that they, they routinely do have these dog sniffers who come, and, and it is is um, normal for them to announce it. Yeah. He just added the words flush it. Even if you didn't say flush it, people were going to go to the bathroom right. to flush it anyway. So. I didn't know that they announced uh, what I guess that's like when you're driving. It's like when you're uh, you flash your flashes, flashers, your lights when you are driving down the road and you'd see a police officer speed trap, you flash to the people coming at you. It's kind of the same thing. Do we know yeah. who this flight it's attendant a, it's a is? Public no, service. I don't know. Is this a single person? This sounds like a fun person that <laughs> I might not want to get to know. <laughs> there you Follow go. Follow me on Twitter. Yeah, Talk there you go. Me. He'll probably be very famous. Yeah. Well, we've learned nothing. <laughs> All this is speculation. All right, coming up, Red Eye's annual pool party. Reminder, edible thongs are mandatory. But first, what did Jesse the Body Ventura win? Some say a lawsuit, others say the title Douchebag of the Century. Cringe. All right, <laughs> is the body being shoddy? Former wrestler, Minnesota governor, and pos possessor of the worst hair in the world. Jesse the Body Ventura was awarded $1.8 million by a jury in a lawsuit against the estate of late Navy SEAL sniper Chris Kyle. In his book, American Sniper, Kyle alleged he punched out Ventura after hearing him say the U.S. deserved to lose a few in the Iraq War. Jesse denies the claims and sued in 2012. Kyle died in 2013, but the case against the estate continued, resulting in a Ventura victory. Jesse, the body, is now receiving a lot of backlash because the estate supports Kyle's widow and two children, Here's Jesse on CBS defending himself and the suit. Well, uh, you pursue a lawsuit for the truth. Uh, I would have been a big time loser had I not pursued the lawsuit because the lawsuit, the whole story was fabricated. But Jesse, aren't you getting hammered enough in the court of opinion? I'm not getting hammered in the court of public opinion. People are walking up to me every day and shaking my hand. There's no public. How am I getting hammered in the court of public opinion? Because I sought the truth. I think they're shaking his hand because they think he's the guy in Hardcore Pawn. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's a no. The guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Les Gold is much better looking than, yeah. than him. He's. I was just because they were, you know. Tan. Uh, Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> is there any way to side with Jesse on this? No way. No okay. way. No. He is a, a big loser. He's uh, I'm, a, I'm ashamed to be bald right now. He's a <laughs> despicable, bullheaded punk. And uh, I, I mean, it's just let me go out on a limb. I, 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 the Navy SEAL, somebody should do something. I don't want to. You can't advocate. <laughs> somebody should do to him what, what we want done to Justin Bieber. What? Uh, have you ever had him on IMIS? Did you ever no, talk to him? No, I have not. Oh, yeah, oh, years ago, yes. Be we before have, he was a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, before he became stuff, a truther. Yeah. He's been on, I think he was on Red Eye twice or once, and it was the most uncomfortable yeah. experience. He was on Opie and Anthony, in which Jim Norton just ripped him to yep. shreds in the most beautiful possible way. But he interviews people, and if the interviews don't go well on his new show, you almost never see them. Because <laughs> it's like, I know that a uh, few people have had that experience. Um, all right. 
Catherine, does mm -hmm. anyone win here? He won the case, but won't he be hated forever? Well, see, he just wanted to clear his name. Yes. Okay, this guy wrote mean things about <laughs> That's him. That's true. And what else was he supposed to do? He didn't want America to start thinking he was a bad guy. Uh, yes. So, you know, I feel for him. He really just had to sue this widow, yeah. take her money, save his reputation. Yeah, and you know, that does say, <laughs> when you sue a widow, and you get money out of her, that's the best way to restore your Isn't reputation. Yeah. See, I just had to prove to everyone I'm not as bad of a guy as everyone says I am. Yeah. What? Yeah. His family bought pizza for the media after the trial. Oh, it's like, that's very, that's, yeah. that's hard. Son of a good, good guy. guy Come like over guy. later. What kind of pizza? Yeah, I don't well, that know. That matters. Probably meatball. <laughs> everyone knows the true <laughs> Jesse Ventura. I don't even know why that laughed. <laughs> uh, should he have dropped, I mean, okay, so, Joanne, he wins. What, what would be the noble move here to say, I only did this to clear my name, she could keep the money? Wouldn't no, that no, no. He needs the money because he said he has to pay his lawyers because right. this has been going on for so long. They started this case before the, the Navy SEAL died. Right. So uh, he apparently that's a million plus dollars yeah, in, it's in probably fees. A lot. Yeah. So and she, her, her fees were paid by insurance or something, he yes. claims. Uh, however... I think really what it amounted to was it's just retaliation. Mm -hmm. You know, he was hurt. He wants to make people feel hurt just like he was. Yeah. Um, I, however, believe that there is always a bit of truth to every rumor. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're obviously not, you know, the stand-up guy for someone to put all this about you in a book. Yeah. So people are still going to suspect that you're probably not the the best guy out there. But here's, uh, here's my issue, and I said this before on The Five. I can't stand the guy because he's a truther. I think he is uh, crazy. Um, there's a problem with him. <laughs> However, he might be telling the truth because there is a lot. There are holes in 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 in, in some of these stories. And if the guy, if, if this guy is saying, "Look, you said that you wanted soldiers or, 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 or members of our military dead." And, you're, and the guy's alive when he slanders you. You still have to clear your name, even if you are an a-hole, right, Andy? Am I wrong? Right? No, you just t said everything I was going to say. <laughs> okay. Well, I, let me disagree um, with that. No, okay. You don't. Have, I don't think you do. Once the guy died, the guy, the guy's a legitimate American hero, right? And, and but she's living off the proceeds of uh, the book. And at that point, you let it go. You uh, but I, I disagree, Bernie, because the, 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 the fact that the, the, Jesse Ventura is a huge, huge tool. There's yeah. no getting around that. But it's not like Kyle wrote in the book that Ventura didn't like chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. He said that Ventura said that the SEALs deserve to lose a few. That's not the kind of thing you can let stand if you didn't really say it. And, and yeah, Kyle died, but it was still in the book. And the purpose of the lawsuit, HarperCollins is now pulling that chapter out of the book. So it won't be there in future editions. Because otherwise, pulling out of the lawsuit then accomplishes nothing because the book is still saying yeah. this thing, which Ventura and 8 out of 10 juries, jurors say there's no evidence he actually said. So I kind of, I, I, it right. sucks that he went after the widow, but it really he was going after the estate. Yeah. Not now her he's very popular, so, and everyone yeah, in, thinks he's in, in a the great court of guy. Public opinion, yeah, yeah, he thinks he, he's not losing enough. All right, no, he is. Fat, uh, tough, uh, fat head. Give the money back. Yeah, you, you, he, you should, do, he should do a Kickstarter. Should buy pizza for the whole world. Well, that's my point. Is there should be a way to win and say, okay, I don't want the money. I just want my, I want the books pulled. Well, he should he should use whatever money he needs to pay off his legal fees, right. and then give the rest of it back to yeah. to the estate. Or match to the it. Widow. He should match it. He should match he should it. Like, Clearly, give a that very amount. Rich yeah. man. But I mean, there are there are issues. This whole this whole story is more complicated than people in the press are making it out to be. They're they're calling. Uh, Ventura a D-bag, which he has proven to be on other occasions, but but he's not complete. He's not completely in the wrong here because there are other instances where there's stuff in that book that isn't verifiable no. or stories that have been told that aren't ver verifiable. And and I go, you know, blame the jury too, right? I yeah, don't know. bunch of idiots. But uh, yeah. listen. If, if he he wins, the terrorists win. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. it, no, look, it's just despicable. It's a sad story. Yeah. And he should give it back. And are you proud of yourselves, Minnesotans, for electing this creep? That's the most amazing I mean, thing. Are you, are you, really, are you Although, serious? I loved it when that happened. I yeah. don't know how old I was when that happened. But when he was elected governor, it was like the greatest thing. But I was stupid. I didn't know any better. I'm still happy about it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. well, are you from there? No. Oh, I'm yeah. happy about it from afar. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's I'm just glad yeah. that you're happy. She's just a fan of the state. Yeah. yeah. Minnesota's the best. Yeah.
That really yeah. is the best. The, Lakes uh, are cool. Yeah, it's true. All right. <laughs> Coming up, the government tries to find out why Wikipedia is sexist. They should have just read my Wikipedia entry. Why Wikipedia is sexist and girls smell. <laughs> but first, a word from our sponsor. Tonight's sponsor is the Dullasense wristwatch and invasive brain chip. Can't take the stench of the guy next to you on the train or the pain of hearing another coworker karaoke? Then don't. Simply adjust the dial to activate the chip that deactivates the targeted sense. You never have to feel again with the Dullasense wristwatch and invasive brain chip. Could a southern drawl be your career's downfall? One Tennessee research lab thinks so. There it is right there. It's beautiful. I'd like to live there. Anyway, Oak Ridge National Laboratory was set to teach a southern accent reduction class, but employee objections led to its cancellation. The training course request, requested by some workers was advertised to, quote, give employees a more neutral American accent and be remembered for what you say and not how you say it. Hmm. Apparently, these standard American English lessons have been offered in the past, but this year's focus on the Southern dialect upset many Southern-born employees. Catherine, uh, was canceling the class the right thing to do? It's ridiculous. They weren't trying to force them to change their accents. They're just saying, hey, if you want to change your accent, you can. Everyone just loves being offended so much. Mm -hmm. There's people saying, you don't like your accent? You have to like your accent. It's the same accent that I have. This is an outrage, <laughs> and everyone's all upset. Everyone just needs to relax, talk all they want. You might not necessarily be respected by certain people if you talk a certain way, but just shut up and just do your job. There you go. Hey, Bernie, yeah. uh, does a Southern accent sound unprofessional? And isn't that kind of a good thing? Because, you know, in all those movies, the lawyer with a Southern accent always wins. He's like, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, I love right. your strawberry lemonade. He's innocent. <laughs> Everybody loves claps. Southern accents Cla help. Yep, Clarence Darrow. Yes. Uh, yeah, right. Listen, no, I Mike think Tyson. the southern accent actually makes you sound stupid. Just kidding. I love the southern accent. I think, that, first of all, this is Tennessee. It's right. not like it was, you know, Massachusetts or Northern California. It's like going into Liverpool and yeah. trying to get people uh, <laughs> to change their English accent. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Now, in the green room, Joanne was making fun of my Bronx accent. Right. What happened to diversity now in this I'm country? <laughs> not it's, everybody has to like an accent, though. This is America. You're allowed to say your accent makes you sound well, stupid. Yeah. And if you don't like it, you can work somewhere else. Yeah. You know, um, by the way, you mentioned, so like, Southern California. That, uh, it, it, those are people that make fun of Southern accents. But the vocal fry, Joanne, which is, is quite possibly makes everybody feel sound stupid. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. You know what it is. Okay. Yeah, right. I, don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't want to remind our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right, Joanne. French fry. Uh, but you, you took classes like this. I did. Yes. So uh, as a theater major, you had to take speech and diction classes because you need to learn how to speak um, the standard American English in order to learn other dialects. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's helpful, I think, to your careers. So if your accent, people can't understand it, or if you have certain vocal tics or a fry, for example, mm -hmm. these kind of classes can be helpful to you. But if it helps your career, like Jersey Shore yeah. or Paula Deen, mm -hmm. keep it. Yeah. What fry do you mention? What fry? <laughs> there you go. That's it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that always makes me laugh. You ne uh, you've never heard of the fry? No, I have not. No. You've every woman. Come on, you've totally heard it before. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I like it though. It's yeah. every Kardashian. It's like it's like they take. It's yeah. <laughs> Super. It's it takes, talking right now. You can't even tell. <laughs> yeah. it takes, it's oh like a God, drill God. into your ear and goes like this. It's like, Andy. Oh, it's kind of hot. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> it, I don't even have a question. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, first of all, bless their hearts, I say. Um, I personally, I love Southern accents. New Orleans accent, my favorite. Southern, probably my second favorite. I can also understand why a place that operates on a national level would want to try to flatten out any extreme yeah. regional accents, whether it's Southern or New England or Bronx or whatever, if that, because they're dealing with the whole country. Greg, you pointed out that the, the Southern lawyer always yeah. wins. You don't see a lot of scientists with Southern accents. That's true. And this is a science place. That's, that's so, true. Uh, you know, um, maybe they just were like, yeah, we don't, you don't really want to do that. You know what, uh, what's interesting to me is how I think the entertainment industry has a lot to do with it. One movie, Deliverance, 
was enough to, to make a, the combination of a Southern accent and politeness evil. So it used to be if you had manners and you were Southern, it was like ho Southern hospitality. Hey, how you doing? You need some help there? Translated into, you have a pretty mouth. That's what changed. That moment that the squeal like a pig thing happened in 1972 or 73. Oh, great years. I, I, yeah, I think that, <laughs> what? I said great years. <laughs> great years. You well, never saw Deliverance? Even, it's not even Southern, though. It's, it's Appalachian. Well, it's not. Appalachian is Southern. So, no, it's a different accent. It, well, it's I, South. That's all, you know. Well, spoken like a true Yankee. Well, you know what? <laughs> like you would know. Man, address your tweets to Greg, Southern. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that has become the stereotype for every Southerner. And so when you have a, like, what normally was considered polite and nice is now considered sinister, in my view. These are some deep cultural observations that uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed. Look, if it was an in, Indian <laughs> accent or a Spanish accent or an inner city accent, it would be this would be a racist. And that's true. So, and by the way, I love the Indian accent, the Spanish yeah. accent, the inner. Let's the, let diversity. Let, let it live. Let everybody talk the way they want. By the way, and as and nobody can do those accents on any TV show anymore because they'll be edited out. Right. But you right. can do a southern one. But if you do an Indian one, which is why I think in 20 years the Simpsons is going to be a difficult thing to watch for people. That's my prediction because of uh, uh, the... It already has kind of become that. <laughs> yes, it has it? Yeah. it? Has it? All right. Well, there you go. Next topic. When it comes to gender, is Wikipedia an offender? Let's explore in a special edition of... Is this sexist? Yeah, see, I had them add the uh, question oh, wow. mark. It took four months to get this approved. <laughs> it went through the correct channels. It's cost $17,000, this question mark here. It's made out of... Uh, uh, the ears of mice. We are finally approved for that grant. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Anyway, the government's shelling out over 200 grand of your money to explore why Wikipedia has a gender bias problem. The National Science Foundation awarded grants to Yale and NYU scholars to fund their research on how, quote, underrepresentation of female scholars and associated scholarship reduces the quality and completeness of Wikipedia, imposing significant costs on the millions of readers who rely on it. Translation, we just wasted all of your money on some stupid <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Bernie. That. I did. Yeah. We'll bleep it. What do you think? I think it is complete. <laughs> I, I've never uttered a profanity on, on television before. Oh, really? <laughs> Man, that feels good. It does feel good. Uh, listen, it's just garbage that the taxpayer money is spent on this. Yeah. It's, 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 there, there are no rules against it. Women aren't a geek, computer yeah. geek types. Yeah. Not gamers or Wikipedia information mm -hmm. uh, suppliers. Mm -hmm. It's just that they don't do it. I mean, it, let's just let everything take its natural course and, and stay out of it. See, I wrote an article last year, actually, about 15 different colleges and universities mm -hmm. actually offering credit to students who would edit feminist thinking into Wikipedia. Really? It's insane. It's, there's supposed to be technological, factual articles. Mm -mm. And what are you doing? Reading yeah. Jezebel all day. You think everything needs to sound like Jezebel. <laughs> is the only thing I can imagine. Like, this says technology, not technology. And I'm, <laughs> I'm Jezebel and I'm upset. Yeah, you know, I'm, I can't imagine any other reason why. Go, there are other websites except Jezebel. Yeah. There, ladies. Yes. Jezebel is the voice of the female. Right, Joanne? It's the voice of the yeah. Worst. Femur. Yes. Yeah. I hear those voices all the time. <laughs> and what do you think? Uh, I don't care who writes these articles. Yes. Right. As long as you get to rip them off. So long as they are accurate. Because yes. I don't want to go to another source to like double check yes. all this info. That's I where know. I get my uh, info. I know. Right, right. Wikipedia, Wikipedia is the skeleton of red eye. You take it away. We have yeah. nothing. We're not going to use an encyclopedia. And I don't even know where they are. For the record, the entry on woman is longer than the entry on man. Oh. Says the article I read. Yeah. <laughs> right. Which I don't know where it was from, but that's what it said. I mean, Before you go to Andy, by the way, the injustice that one of the injustices they cite is that there's more information on The Sopranos than there is on the show Sex and the City. Uh, well, that and is that's an it. issue. This that's, is, that's that's is. an issue. It's offensive to think that women don't have actual problems that they need to be whining about, whether Wikipedia is feminist enough or I whatever. I mean, come on, yeah. please. Read a newspaper. Yeah. There's real stuff going on. Yeah, there is, except in newspapers. Andy, yeah. uh, what do you make of all of this? I think that, uh, that Wikipedia is an amazing achievement. It's like an ex ever-expanding universe. I don't even know who these people are. There's 91,000 people yeah. writing for it. Well, Greg, I have a chapter in uh, my new book. I 
Did yeah. you have a picture of my book, Problematic? Yes. About this, the, uh, the chapter's called The Wikipenis Problem. Oh, nice. Oh. Um, and I, I think if you, when the book comes out, just read the chapter and you'll get my feelings. That, but that, that I sounds do, like a good headline for Jezebel. Absolutely. I, yeah. I do think I have the solution to this problem, though. What? More women should write and edit Wikipedia pages. No, that's a really good Where's genius. my 200 grand? Yes. I want my 200 grand. <laughs> That is so that true. That won't do enough to smash the patriarchy that is, you it know, will, on the foundation of the entire internet, obviously. Do you think that it's necessary anymore to have high school or college at all? Because Wikipedia, like, I, if you take any word out of any sentence and you plug it into the computer, Wikipedia has something for it. You don't need any, like, if uh, I want to read, if I want to read up on a philosopher, I just go to Wikipedia and I don't even read the philosopher. I just read, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. You well, you, you need the social skills. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you guys cool. trust Wikipedia way too much. Yeah. I know. There, there are so many mistakes yeah. on my page. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly made by men. I don't have a page uh, probably because of sexism. Yes, that's Not because I'm less famous. No, I think it's because of sexism. Yeah. Absolutely right. Bernie, are you on Wikipedia? I do have a page, yes. I haven't seen it in Sex. quite a while. <laughs> you stay away from it? I don't want to I don't want to read it. <laughs> I believe it. It's ugly. It's ugly. Yes. All right, time to take a break. White lies when we come back, or as I like to call them, Caucasian lies. <laughs> Not cool. Order it. Amazon.com. Autograph copy. Ggutfeld.com. I don't know. Hey, caught me off guard there. Can white lies make tight ties? A new study suggests lying to one another can actually bring us closer together as a society. That's the subject of tonight's Red Eye Debate 2014, live from the Red Eye Debate Center. Yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's Red Eye Debate, live from the Red Eye Debate Center in Macon, Georgia. I'm Greg Gutfeld, host of tonight's Red Eye Debate. Following the debate, as always, remember to stick around for the meat raffle. <laughs> yes. Anyway, a group of nerds built a computer model that predicts how groups change over time. They've already lost me. <laughs> anyway, stupid nerds who know this stuff and not me. The results posted online in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B. <laughs> we could have just said in a journal. Showed that lying had a significant effect. Large lies like ones about theft or murder led to societies collapsing. But white lies actually brought people closer together into tight-knit groups. So is lying a good thing? I turned to my drop-dead gorgeous guess for the answer. See what I did there? Not really. <laughs> I didn't either. No. All right, uh, Bernie. Not all lies are bad, are they? Uh, no, they're not. Mm -hmm. they're, they are the, sort of the social lubricant, if you will. Oh, I that's mean, disgusting. Let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. You know, you, you, about three quarters of the time you see somebody, you say, hey, what's up? How you doing? And in mind, you're thinking, why, why the hell didn't I go the other way? Yes. I mean, yeah, all exactly. the time. So, <laughs> yes. Pretty much, right? That's a relationship thing. So, but that's how, that's, that is how we get along. Instead of saying, I ran into this guy again, you know, to his face, you yeah. say, uh, listen, how's the family? Yeah. yeah, and you say good when it's really not. Yeah, yeah everyone does right. it. Exactly. What, what is the anti-social lubricant? Uh, it, it's, I, I don't know, Glue? coffee? <laughs> coffee, yeah. Right. yeah, it might be yeah. coffee. Yeah, because you always have to get up and run somewhere. People, Catherine? People <laughs> who say that they don't lie are the worst, I think. They're the liars. They're the, they're the ones like, look, it's just, I'm just like too honest. Like, I'm just like too real. People can't handle how real I am. It's like, people can handle that you like talk like you're on a reality show all the time when mm -hmm. you're not on MTV. Mm -hmm. Everyone lies. I say that I want people to be honest with me, but I really mean just like, only if it's really nice. Yeah, you know? no, nobody wants to I hear want, the truth. I don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, exactly. I want to think that you would never lie to me. Mm-hmm. But you should. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Uh, Joanne, you lie all the time. All the time. Does this study ease your guilt? I have no guilt oh. because uh, I do it for the greater good. Yes. Kind of like this study was showing. So it happens a lot on this on this show. Have you seen this movie? Yeah. Do you know who this person is? Yeah. I found that when I say I don't, it, it, it causes a lot of anxiety, yes. a yeah. lot of angry feelings. Yes. So sometimes I just nod. I know. And I smile. Yes. Yeah, of course. Great film. Because then that person who's telling a story can continue with enthusiasm. Yes, it's great when you say no. It's great when somebody's telling a story and you say no. To, hey, so to blah, blah, and you say no, and then they go like, ah, crap. Right? I do that sometimes to avoid a story. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. I'm like, ah, no, I don't. 
yeah, yeah. exactly. Like before, I have no idea who Chad Lowe is. You would do yeah. Chad Lowe. I'm going, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. <laughs> Chad, you know, Lowe. He's, Chad Lowe is Chad a big Lowe fan is of. Chad watching right yes, now. Yes. He's yes. very offended. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's, that's probably. I'm he sure probably can't agree. afford a TV. I don't know. Your brother's you better. Do. Yes. You don't know either, right? No. Andy, yeah. uh, you've been saying for years that society is founded on lies. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first of all, great job hosting tonight. Thank you. I mean, everything's been going really smoothly. It's the signs. Love yeah. the glasses. Thank but it you. Is, it is funny that this topic came up. I, I have in my book that's coming out, uh, Problematic, uh, I have a chapter called White Lies Bad, Black Lies Good, oh. which I think covers this uh, and explains exactly why, first of all, the phrase white lies itself is problematic. It is problematic. Um, but yeah, this is another one of those studies where it's totally obvious. Of course, white lies are good for society. Okay. Could you imagine? Well, thanks for getting all the way around to that answer. Sure. Yep. It's really helpful. Thank you. I'm not even trying to lie anymore. Coming up, a TV news host has an on air slip up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't me this time. You got videos of your animals, send them to us. Foxnews.com slash red eye. Arrow. Coming up tomorrow on the next Red Eye, we've got Dagan McDowell and Sherrod Small. Yay. E-Blog. Last story. That's the last story. Her gaffe made us laugh. After interviewing Israel's ambassador to the United States, Ron Dermer, on Wednesday, Mika Brzezinski, co-host of MSNBC's Morning Joe, had just a slight slip of the lip. Listen up, listen uppers. Still ahead, a new health care crisis. The U.S. Surgeon General is calling for immediate action to stop the rise of skin cancer. He'll explain why the new cause for concern. Keep it right here on Morning Joe. Joe. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Before I make fun of her, I had a similar problem. Uh, we can roll that one and then get to questions. Finally, someone with the fine palate to understand circus peanuts are the sin qua non of candy. You are my hero. I don't know. <laughs> Personally, I'd like to age the open package in the sun on the car's dashboard for a couple of days so they get crunchy on the outside. Mmm, good. Yeah. Dan, I'm so happy that you get me and the joy of circus penis. Peanuts. <laughs> Yeah, See? I've changed a lot. Uh, Andy, didn't you shoot a pilot once, a TV pilot called Morning Jew? I did. I did. It, it, they, the show actually ran for two weeks, mm -hmm. and they canceled it. They said it was because I kept oversleeping. I'm pretty sure it was anti-Semitism. Yes, I think so. But I am more of an evening Jew, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you are an evening yeah. Jew. Yeah. Uh, Catherine, uh, slip of the tongue, or something deeper. I think this is great. This is the most interesting she's ever been on television, <laughs> yeah. ever. This is going to be great for her career. She just has to make sure she doesn't apologize. Yeah, don't Come apologize. On. Don't apologize. She probably isn't aware she did it, huh, Bernie? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm sure she doesn't know. She has no clue. Look, it's MSNBC, so normally you would want to cut people some slack, but they're the biggest whiners when mm -hmm. it comes right. to stuff like this. Yeah. So I am outraged, and I'm demanding an apology from Mika Brzezinski. Don't do it, Mika. <laughs> wow. It would be Respect like if, yourself. She was, was she just talking, she had been talking about to, the to, Israel, Israel Gaza. Yeah, so, so in like, her head, she, it was, she was thinking Jews. If she was talking about uh, Italians, and, 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 and they said, welcome back to good meatball America, or something like that. I mean, it was in her head, right? <laughs> It was in her head. What do you think? I would like to give her some other ideas. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. If she's going to slip again. Morning blow. <laughs> nice. Or horny Joe. Morning Joe. <laughs> what are you doing? Those wow. were your other ideas. Just get all your career advice from Red Eye. Yeah. That would morning, be good. Great job. Morning blow. Does that mean something that I don't know? Like, uh, you get, you, uh, I, I, I really? shouldn't even try to explain. No. I, I don't know, because sometimes I get congested yeah. in the morning and I have yeah. to blow my nose. Well, as you know, I mean, you, I think you're the one that first brought it up. Morning Joe is a sex act. <laughs> yes, if you look up on uh, <laughs> Urban Dictionary, Urban Dictionary yeah. Morning Joe Everything is a horrible is a thing act. you yeah. do with a cup of coffee. Yes. Yes. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah. I got to go. Catherine, TV's Andy Levy, Joanne Nosachinski, Bernie McGurk. That does it for me. I'm going to see you uh, later on O'Reilly yes, in about eight hours, I, I think. I look forward to that. Oh, Come on, man. Great. It's going to be great. We have so much fun on that show.